Hello, KMS. Mrs. Hines here. So this is your weekly goals for December 14th through the 18th. It's our fifth week of tech class. Can you believe it? So after this week, um, you should have more grades. Um, and that's basically because you're updating your tech portfolio. So I just kind of want to show you what your portfolio should look like so far um, in your Google Drive. So if you open up a brand new tab and you go to the waffle on the right, you can see all your Google apps, open up your Google Drive, and you should have made a Google site that's gonna be your technology portfolio. So on your homepage, you wanna make sure that your name and technology portfolio is on there. You have a mission statement where you introduce yourself and you set some goals for the quarter, okay? Um, on your coding page, you'll have any of the scratch projects that we worked on together. So we had some friends stop by on Friday and we coded a happy birthday greeting. Um, so if you'd like to have that greeting, you can check out Scratch and we put it on um, the Scratch Studio. We also shared it on Classroom. So hopefully you have a greeting card and an interactive game. So if your game is shared on here, that's how you get full credit. On my sheet, I also have like the cheat sheet. So there are directions on my page. Last week, we explored Google Maps. So we created a maps and navigation page where hopefully you included um, a brief history of maps with this video I shared on Google Classroom. And then we together made three separate lists in Google Maps. So you can save locations. Um, and this is the directions. Again, you won't have this on your page but you can save locations to lists. So we made a list that's local. We made a list that is worldwide. And then we made a list of locations that would be fun for you. So like I made a kayaking one. The last thing we did together was we um, showed off some live stream links. So again, if you wanted to be snazzy, you could change the background. Since technically you didn't make this, we wanna just kind of showcase your work but if you wanted to, for this instance, have a live stream of one of the cameras, um, you can do that here. Uh, this week, we're gonna start CAD. So what I'm gonna have you do today is you're gonna log into Floor Planner. Um, when you log into Floor Planner on the top right, you need to sign in with your Google account. It's critical that you choose sign in with Google and you go through the prompts and you wanna join as a student or a teacher. When you join as a student or a teacher, it gives you lots of different options. Um, it has a dashboard, kind of like Scratch, and you can go under projects and you can hit create a project, this blue button right here. Um, so we can call this our dream room. And we're gonna say create project. It's gonna go through um, and hopefully walk us through the wizard. And that's really the easiest way to make the room. So we're gonna use the room wizard. And on the left-hand side, this is gonna give you your options. And then on the right-hand side, you're gonna get a little bit of a preview. So you wanna design this week your dream room space. You have to be able to sleep here. You have to be able to work here. And if you'd like to um, add additional things like a kitchen or a bathroom, that's also encouraged. So you may wanna think of the shape of your room. I would encourage you not to pick the rectangle because it's fun to just think about different uh, setups. You can move things. These are windows or doors. Um, so we can move them around, but that's later. Here's your room dimensions. Dimension is another word for measurement. So this week we'll be measuring um, in standard or imperial. So we buy things in feet and inches. Um, so that's where you can change the shape of your room. So if you make your overall room wider and longer, and then you can make other components and kind of slide things around um, to kind of get exactly the dream room that you've always wanted. The more walls you have, the more windows you can put in later. So I'm gonna hit next. You might also wanna increase your ceiling height. Um, the room type, basically, what type of furniture are you gonna put in here? I like to put living room furniture in, um, so I'll just hit next. And then here you can choose your room style. So perhaps like this, and then hit next. Here's where you wanna um, click on this magic layout, because what it's gonna do, it's automatically gonna generate and put some items in your room, okay? So now I'm gonna start adding more things to my room. Awesome. If you have a mouse, 
this will make your life so much easier. Um, you can do things all on the Chromebook. So on this area here, you can zoom in and zoom out. You can see the two dimensional, the flat view of things. You can see how big things are. You can easily take things and stretch them out, make them long, longer or wider. You can undo if you ever do something you don't want. Um, but basically, we're going to go through and we're going to customize so you have a dream space. Everything that's structural is going to be under the hammer. So this is where perhaps you want to add some more windows. I always have it turned on to the 3D viewing of things. So that way I know what the window looks like. You can drag it in. And then once the window is in, you can actually stretch it out and customize it even more. Any of your objects that you drag in, you can move around and you can rotate. Um, so again, some people are coming up with really awesome combinations of things. Uh, so I'm just gonna go through and all the different structural things I'll add on there. Under the chair, there are some options here. So you have different furniture. Um, again, you can see all of the categories and search for things like um, perhaps like TV even. Um, it gives you TV stands, and then you can, again, just take and click and drag things in. That's oh, pretty neat. You can change the color of things. So we were messing around with this on Friday. We were trying to find, like, the wall color. So you can pick, oops, which side you want the wall to be on. So that's a little tricky. You can get used to that. Um, and then these are all the different materials that you can use. So you can really add um, an unlimited amount of things. These are all dimensioned. These are all CAD drawings. You might want to switch between views. You can go under 3D and you can really check it out this way and kind of zoom in and really get to customize your space. Again, folks, this is meant to be fun. So we get absolutely ridiculous. Um, it does, I think, save often on your own because you sign in with Google. So have a lot of fun today. Your goal is to design your dream room space. Spend about 20 minutes or so. Uh, join the Google Meet and show off your work. All right, guys. Happy Monday and have a great week. Thanks so much.